Hello, I'm Morris Dimba. Our discussion today is a brief demonstration on how to do a clash check in Tecla structure. In this model, I'll use the same same model that, that I used to, to demonstrate on how the face manager works and uh, how to do how to use the organizer to simplify your work further. Now I'll use the same same model to demonstrate on how to do a clash check on a model of this kind. Now, prior to going to a clash, and remember all those commands, face manager, organizer, uh, clash, check, layout manager, all are found under manage tab. The moment you click manage tab, you'll be able to access the face manager, organizer, clash, check, and all that. Today, we are going to do to do a brief discussion on a clash check now prior to invoking that command we want to highlight the the parts that we suspect are clashing or have have a clash now i'll go straight to manage i'll, I'll go straight to face manager and a face manager we've classified this model under these categories now i'll be, i'll be picking one by one and uh, subject it to a clash check then uh, the the components that clashes with with the other i'll i will be noticed i'll i'll, I'll uh, i will be noticed on uh, I, I will get a, a report regarding the clash and uh, with an option of either to print or rectify now I want to go straight to rafter beams, rafter beams there, and uh, go to objects by face. I'll select that and wait for the highlight. I'll wait for the highlight. There we are. We are going. Now the beams, the rafter beams have been highlighted. Now I'll go straight to clash check here. I'll click on clash check. Under clash check now, this the the dialog properties of a clash check manager. I'll just go straight away and click on that check object that are are suspects of clash i'll go straight and click that arrow just one click and uh, wait for this information here at the moment it's there are zero clashes just wait if there are zero clashes you move to the other parts that you you may suspect that uh, you there are, there are some parts that are clashing and uh, you need to get a report and you'll be able to get back and uh, rectify the clashes. Let's wait for this report to come out. And if there are no clashes, there'll be no any report here. It will be blank, which means there's zero clash. But still, we can wait because it's still loading and uh, the clash has started running here. Let's wait. If you take a look down down at the bottom of this dialog box of clash check manager you'll be able to see something is loading there and uh, some information adjacent to it reading zero clash at the moment so the moment it finishes loading and uh, it remains zero clash means it's perfectly well done and uh, nothing is clashing with the other so you have no any reason to go back and rectify because you'll be rectifying something that has really sat and uh, something that is perfectly in place so there's no need of rectification it's loading there it is let's load and finish and you'll be able to get a number of clashes here let's wait let's just give it time to load or run through the clashes you can read here class check class checking is in progress let's wait 
let's wait for the report I'd like to try and don't interfere with it and you'll notice that the moment it's running the button it's grayed means it isn't active at the moment so the moment clashes are completely done or a run for clash check is finished it will it will come back to active let's just wait to get the information still running perfect it's ready and there is no clash it is a zero clash so you see the button is now active and uh, the report is ready with the indication that everything is perfect no clash now we'll close this we'll close that we'll close that then we'll go to columns or where I suspect that we, we might have some clashes are on the palings. On the palings, so we'll go to palings there and uh, go to go to objects by face and click on that and wait for the for the highlighting of all the palings. Then we invoke the clash check command to run a quick clash check. Let's wait. Let's wait for the palings to be selected. There we are. The palings have been selected. All remember, all the palings have been selected. There are hundreds and hundreds of palings for this model. Now, if you go to clash check there, and uh, here you go straight to that button check objects and click on it and wait for the results let's wait for the results the class check is now running now if there's a clash everything will be recorded the number of clashes and the part where the clash has occurred and it will give you all the options of printing all the clashes and uh, you subject it to discussion and uh, you will be able to go back and rectify the the parts that have that you you you've you've been noted that are clashing there's one there there's a clash there this is this this quite a number it's still loading now here we have 69 clashes is inside clash we have all these the type of clash all these the object name is plate the assembly is that object ID the date modified is this so this you can you can save this and you can also do a print out of this or you can do a, a print preview you can click on a print, a print preview and have a view of that let's wait for the preview this is the pre, the clash preview print out so if you make a print out and you'll be able to send to the concerned party for discussion you can close that this is how you do a, this is a brief walk on uh, a class check using class check manager and uh, at that moment at, at that point i'll uh, just finalize and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm your presenter maurice dimba and bye bye let's meet on the next presentation